Good morning, black women. Happy Saturday. Listen, I really hate to start off the Saturday like this, but I've been up scrolling through a couple of TikToks, scrolling through a couple of YouTubes, and it has come to one consensus, right? Black women, you're going to really have to understand that when it comes to black males, black women, right? The so-called black community, there is none. Stop trying to make something work with a group of people, black males and women alike, who are all thinking individually, individually, right? So in knowing that, we already know because we've seen like so many years of these black males, anytime they get a little money, get a little influence, the first thing they want to do is shit on black women and children to make them feel like they're somebody they're not, right? Okay. So in knowing that, when it comes to the whole world dealing with the way the black women from the um, Divine Nine came together overnight, put all that money together because they are a group of focused black women, focused on what they believe in from the Divine Nine, their commitment to social change and justice for black women. If everyday regular black women would feel the same way towards their own women and daughters and stop worrying about black males and how America thinks about me and white folks and, and listen, mm -mm. focus on what you need in your community and then you get your little group of divine nine like black women and you fight for what you need in your own community. When it comes to this election, if all of us vote and put Kamala in the office, you and then you go out and vote and make sure she gets the Senate and the Congress that she needs by getting rid of all those Republicans that stand in her way, you will then be able to start little organizations in your own town where you could go to your local represented representatives and demand change for black people. Actually put together your own little black women manifesto of what we need for black women to deal with the issues that we have in the workplace, employment issues, housing, eviction, childcare, education for our children, transportation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You understand? So as I'm look, looking around these social media sites and I'm seeing all these black dudes, especially these ignorant motherfuckers like Umar and the rest of them where, you know, they're being knocked off their perch because the world literally has seen because of the divine nine sisters that when black women actually get the fuck up and do what it is they put their money where their mouth is we don't have to sit around speaking for years on the internet about the possibilities of what black the black community could be and the power of the supposed black woman like the black male does we get the fuck up and we get shit done so in that same spirit y'all start getting together little groups in your own community so that you could go out here and demand what you want and make sure you register black women to vote to put Kamala in office so we can really have a real change in this society instead of living the same ridiculous status quo that we're in right now. The complacency that Divine Nine has shown you, the complacency we live in every day with the mentality of believing all this shit that is taught to us about what we can't do. These sisters, they shattered that fucking ceiling overnight and shocked the entire motherfucking America and the world. Cause if you think the world didn't pay attention to what those black women did, you would be a fool to think that because everybody looks at us as if, as if we are completely hopeless and helpless and that if we don't have dysfunctional black males by our side nothing can be accomplished they forget we have always been the, the strongest thing in our race since slavery since they found us here and continued to bring us here right come here naya so let them underestimate you do the surprising things that all of us have done and continue to do like stacy abrams taking a red state and making it completely blue like the Divine Nine overnight, getting Kamala that money she needed that would have taken more than four months time 
if it went from donor to donor. We have the capacity to do all these things. We are a brilliant group of women. We just got to start believing it. And once we start believing in ourselves and stop believing all this patriotic nonsense and internalized misogyny and believing this dumb shit about us being masculine instead of being as brilliant as we actually are, girl, we could right the wrongs of things like what has happened to Sonia Massey in a day because we would be that politically empowered. It is really that easy and all it takes is a commitment like the divine nine have shown us. Those women are so damn powerful, it's crazy. And black women, even if you were not originally a divine nine member you know you can still become one but you got to have the heart for for doing what those women do it's a lifelong membership of commitment to the excellence of black women listen y'all those women then laid down the blueprint it's time for the rest of us black women to build off of what we have just been given shout out to all the black women who, who respect and worship the sisterhood of black women and girls, knowing that if we really had to, we could change this entire world all by ourselves. But we gotta start with each one of us and where we are originally from, where we stand right now to move things forward, okay? So if you're from Louisiana, you're from Texas, you're from New York, you're from, from North or South Carolina, start there and never stop moving much love and respect black women black excellence is what you should strive for